I want to talk just a little bit about jumping in general and try to focus on that. So let me go back, starting on this. So jumping, so they have the, the foundational poses, right? The, these are, are the, the main poses you will, will try to hit as you're going through your jumping, even though it won't be you know, set in stone what uh, these poses are, there'll be some variation of this. So um, you'll have the, the jump in. So at this point, he's up in the air, um, which is similar to like your passing pose in a walk. Um, then you have the contact. You can see um, that his back is starting to lean uh, backwards here. Here, you're, you're sort of straight up and down. You got a little curvature in your back, um, but this contact is very straight in this example. Um, and the thing to take note here is that, you know, this is like a bouncing ball, more or less. You know, here you've got, now you've got your squash. So um, if this was a bouncing ball, you're up in the air. You know, here's your stretch down. Here's that ball squashing. So now you're, you're taking note of this reversal in the body. Definitely, that's one of the biggest things is the fact that you've got this slightly curved uh, shape in the body along with the contact down to uh, the reverse shape in the body here. You're maintaining that shape. Your, your feet are starting to push, getting a little lift. He's pushing as hard as he can. Still got that forward rotation. Um, this is very similar to your bouncing ball returning to a normal position. And then now that stretch, that takeoff, um, the opposite of contact, but you still have those toes uh, in position, still contacting there. It's a very stretchy pose. Now you're up in the air, right? And then from here, here, you're, it's like a slow reversal into this, or not so slow. So it kind of happens from here to here. But um, this is like your ball entering the air and then returning back down uh, for that stretch and then the squash here. The other, another uh, example here is just showing uh, the same thing with a rig. Um, this is basically the same example we were just talking about. Um, you're getting the back fairly straight here. And then you're, when he's compressing down, you get this C shape right there. Um, now in this one, when he's launching off, he's reversing. Um, they're reversing a little bit earlier in this example, um, but it's all still about the reversals. It's going from C shape to this reverse C shape. And that's what shows the force. That's how you show um, that he's exerting the force, uh, pushing his body up because his body shape will change. If you leave it in that shape the whole time, even as he comes down, you'll just, he won't feel like he's got a lot of force, like he's really pushing up. It'll feel like small hops or there'll be something wrong with it, right? 